Hi there and welcome to this set of videos that we're putting together. What we're trying to do for this is give you an insight into the type of things that you're going to need to produce to effectively take part in the cost of manufacturing event. This is everything from your online bomb documents, supporting uh, and cost explanation information, but also a flavour of what to expect when you get to the judging on the day. Just some insights from uh, people that have done the event and insights from judges and hopefully a few questions and answers of the common questions that come up. The idea is, is that you'll be able to hit the ground running when we get to the event and compile all the documents in advance and it really give you a springboard for your future careers as well. I think the cost event at Formula Students is really important. It gives you an opportunity to see the type of industries uh, or the type of things that you'll be working in in industry and the type of requirements that are going to be asked of you of your future managers and future employers. People who embrace the cost event not only tend to do well at the whole event in general but also in their initial careers and when they get out into their graduate schemes and so forth. I think it's really important that you spend the time to understand the cost event, uh, learn all the different facets that you need to do and hopefully we're going to cover many of those in this series of videos. And I think that will really prepare you for the event in general and set you up with a proper methodology and, and, and a logical approach to each and every event, whether that's the rest of the static events or even the dynamic events. That organisation will really serve you well. Uh, and hopefully these videos are going to be um, of interest and useful to you. One of the things I would say is always make sure that you check the supplementary, supplementary rules. So at the Formula Student event that happens in the UK, we have our own set of UK rules. For cost, there are some very subtle differences um, to the other European events. We'll explain those in due course. But there are some pretty major differences, say for instance if you're taking part in the US, Australia or even Japan, they will follow what is the old uh, or original SAE rules that is fundamentally different from the European rules. So it's very important to know the differences and what you're setting up for. It's very common for at least one team to appear um, at the event each year and appear with um, a cost pack from the opposing set of rules. So really you shouldn't be that team. Read uh, into the literature that we're producing all the background information and watch these videos and hopefully that will give you the insight that you need. Most importantly read the rules again and again and again. Test yourself on them. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Um, and this will give you the best springboard for taking part not just in Formula Student but also in the cost event.